notable laws relating to ICT. Ito yung mga RAs or Republic Acts na related to ICT. RA 42,000 or Anti-War Tapping Law. Approved on June 19, 1965, one of the oldest law na about sa communication. This is an act to prohibit and penalize wiretapping and other related violations of the privacy in communication. Dito papasok yung pag-record ng isang private communication or pag-intercept, pag-record at pakikinig sa private conversation ng ibang tao. Ang nakalagay pa sa RA na to ay through the use of dictograph or walkie-talkie, which is proof na talagang 1965 pa to at wala pa mga smartphones at modern technology. RA 8484, Access Devices Regulation Act of 1998. Approved on February 11, 1998, this is an act that regulates the issuance and use of access devices. This obviously refers to the use and access of devices. Is stated dito yung unauthorized access ng devices, possibly na nakaw o nakuha ng ibang tao through illegal means. Counterfeit access na kung saan altered or forged yung component ng ibang device para hindi siya maging traceable. And of course, trafficking. Ito yung pagbili o paggamit natin ng device na hindi naman nakapangalan sa atin. Pag-alter ng information sa isang device na hindi tayo ang nagmamayari. Lahat ng yon ay part ng law na to. RA 11-449 an act providing for additional prohibitions to and increasing penalties for violations of Republic Act No. 8484. In support of Access Devices Regulation Act of 1998, since dumadami na rin yung mga communication devices na meron tayo, nagdagdag na rin ang additional uh, penalties and prohibitions dun sa previous law. RA 8792, Electronic Commerce Act. Approved on June 14, 2000, an act providing recognition and use of e-commerce and non-commerce transactions. This highlights the role of ICT in online marketing industries. Pasok dito yung local and international dealings. Yung mga transactions such as contracts, arrangement, at exchange of information. Pinaka-protektahan dito yung mga electronic data messages, electronics document na ginagamit at sinasabi din dito, kung paano magiging valid ang isang, do- ang isang electronic document. Kagaya na lang ng mga paglagay natin ng electronic signatures at kung paano magiging valid ang isang electronic signature. RA 92 Survey Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003 Approved on May 26, 2003 An act eliminating trafficking in persons, especially for women and children. Ito naman ay more of dignity and respect ng isang tao. Stated dito yung pag-protect sa person when it comes to violence, coercion, fraud, or deception. Dito din papasok yung abuse of power at pag-take advantage ng isang tao sa'yo regardless of the relationship, be it manager to employee, teacher to student, or teacher to teacher. Papasok din dito ang prostitution, forced labor, slavery, and sexual exploits. RA 9775 Anti-Child Pornography Act of 2009 Approved on November 17, 2009 An act defining child pornography and defining its penalties With regards to the health of the children, specifically yung mga below 18 years old or kahit anong age, basta umaarting bata It states that children must not be involved on acts kagaya ng uh, child pornography, sexual activity be it intercourse, anal, oral, or kahit anong sexual act between sa isang tao sa hayop masturbation, masochistic abuse, o kahit anong obvious act na may sensual indication or even prostitution. RA 9995 Anti-Photo and Voyeurism Act of 2009 Approved on February 15, 2010, this is an act defining and penalizing the crime of photo and video voyeurism. Sakop nito yung pag-capture at pag-broadcast ng mga images and videos that may be viewed bad or with ill intent to other people, possibly showing female breasts and other private area ng isang tao. Taking photo of other people without their permission is also illegal. Pagkuhan ng mga picture ng mga tao habang may ginagawa silang private, 
pagkopya, pagbenta, pagkalat nito ay nandito rin sa loan na to. At mahigpit na pinagbabawal yon. RA 10173, Data Privacy Act of 2012. Approved on August 15, 2012, an act protecting the individual personal information in ICT. Dito naman papasok yung fundamental rights of privacy when it comes to communication. Sinasabi dito na dapat laging merong consent sa paggamit ng data or media files ng ibang tao. Stated din sa act na to kung ano ang i-consider natin na sensitive at privileged information. It is also said na dapat ang mga personal information natin online ay always subject to confidentiality. Let's just remember that everything is secured online, so it's still up to us. Let's all be cautious in posting, copying, and screen capturing things online, lalo na sa mga screenshot na ginagawa natin. RA10175, approved on September 12, 2012. This is an act defining cybercrime and providing prevention, investigation, and penalties. Isa sa pinakamalawak na act involving ICT because it is related to cybercrime. And crimes can be done through different mediums and online platforms. Cybercrime offenses include illegal access, illegal interception, misuse of devices, data interference, system interference, cyber squatting, computer-related fraud, child pornography, cyber sex, unsolicited commercial communications, abetting, and libel. RA10844, Department of Information and Communications Technology Act of 2015, approved on May 23, 2016, and creating the Department of ICT and defining its powers and functions to ensure provision, reliability, universal access to quality and affordable ICT services. It was enacted because the government recognized the importance of ICT in the country. The end.